Good morning, day 19, and it is a proper drizzly rainy day here in England. So with that in mind, we're going to have a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a reset, and I think we're going to have a crack at making some pillar candles, something I've not done before, and it could be a new range of products I could add if they turn out easy enough. So we're going to have an absolute punt at it. I'm just going to try and use my candle knowledge and see how they turn out, wing it with the wicks and just have a go. And then I think I'll light them later if they're set enough. I know you're supposed to wait a couple of days, let them cure, all that kind of stuff, but I'm impatient and I want to see how they turn out. And if they do turn out all right, we can have a proper go and make them better and properly. I think that is very good English. Anyway, let's have a look. So we've got this premium pillow wax, soy wax pellets that I got on Amazon. Can't remember how much they were. Probably fairly cheap, but I wanted to get it next day and just give them a go. And these uh, suspicious looking moulds. They were £10, a little bit disappointing in value, but they will do the job. And like I said, that's something I've not done before, so this is all just for testing. So let's fill up the wax melter and then try and find an appropriate wick and see how it turns out. Now let's have a look for some wicks. Oh, <laughs> oh that's gone well. I think I'll try a TCR 2412, a Stabilo 12 as well, and then an LX12, one of those little fellas. It's not going well. We'll leave this one for now. Right, Stabilo 12, we'll go in this one. See if we have any better success. Yes, that's going in there like a glove. Mega. Yeah, looking pretty good. TCR wick will stick in a slightly bigger mold. Try a different wick, see if I can get that one through. Yeah, that end is not compromised. Yes, we're in. Lovely old job. Alrighty, all lined up, ready to go. Three different wicks. Just need to wait for the wax to melt. But we're getting there. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, if I can get these to work, it'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind trying to do like a few different pillar candles. You can get some really cool sort of molds that look pretty wicked. And a lot of container candle people out there. I don't think there's many pillar candle people, sellers, makers but it could just be what I'm used to looking at and looking for, because my competition is mainly container wax candles. So yeah, definitely interesting. And it's nice to try and learn how to do new things. And I think I'd quite like to do beeswax candles in pillar molds as well. I think the hardness of the wax would work really well in the pillar molds. And you see a lot of sort of pillar beeswax candles and those little taper candles. So yeah, interesting, exciting. Let's see how they turn out. You have totally guessed the amount of wax I need. So we're, like I said, this is an absolute punt at it. So let's see how much we've got in total. 330 grams. So I'm gonna put a 10% fragrance load in it. So I'm just gonna add 30 grams of something I've got to use up. All right, let's give this one a go. It's something I bought a while ago as a tester. I haven't really used it. So mandarin and aloe leaf. Initially, it smells pretty good, so I'm pretty hopeful this will make a nice smelling candle. It smells pretty good. I think I've maybe left it too long now. Start to set a bit. Four E eight. Yeah, I could start to see it solidify on the top, but. 
I think we're good. We're gonna stop pouring. Little bit of leftover wax, but that's all right. Right, that's the first one. Yeah, that looks pretty cool for my first go. Okay, minus me trying to get them out badly. I think they've come out really well, especially the one on the right. So we're gonna give them a burn test shortly. And I wonder whether if I do less fragrance oil next time, that might help them set better. But equally, I've also only let them set for five hours. So, I think next time I'll probably leave them until the morning to try and pull them out of the moulds or whether I get better moulds from Amazon. But I think for a first go, pretty good, pretty happy with that. Let's give them a burn test and see how they work. Now I think for a first time they've come out pretty well. I know I'm gonna get some hate because I didn't wait long enough for them to set properly in order to peel them out the molds, which is probably why I got issues. Equally, they're also cheap Amazon molds. Well, not cheap, 10 pounds, but made in China and cheap, but, I keep saying but. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think this could unlock a new like level of creativity in me as they've turned out pretty good. And one of them was sort of spectacular. I didn't like realize it would look like that on the top so yeah well impressed with them so maybe we'll try them with beeswax we'll buy some proper pillar wax from a reputable supplier and give them a go overall very satisfying i would recommend trying to make pillar candles if you haven't and to see how they turn out because yeah something quite satisfying about peeling out the molds and seeing what you've made a bit like the wax melts give it a go we will see you tomorrow for day 20. actually upon checking one out of three is pretty good, and then the other two are not good, as you can see. So I think the TCR wick on that one has worked, but the LX and the Stabilo have not. And the one that did show a bit of promise eventually tunneled and went out, so back to the drawing board, we will try again. Well, that was an unexpected fail, as I thought I nailed it in one go. Tedious, but... <laughs> As with candle making, we live and we learn and we try again. So there's gonna be a part two of me actually trying to succeed. So I think what I tried to do in the beginning is I, I really wicked down. I thought the pillar wax would set quite hard because it's normally quite hard wax and I wouldn't need that much of a flame to melt it properly. I was very wrong. So I think what I'll do is use some CL wicks as they work really well, they're just good solid reliable wicks when I first got the coconut soy wax blend SCX I had a wicking nightmare with that I just couldn't get anything to get a full melt ball and I think those CL wicks will work perfectly with pillar candles so we will try again tomorrow for part two so stay tuned for that so when I said bye this video ended that was a lie this is actually goodbye see you tomorrow